Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner and this is Real Magic Review and this is Yuna by Sands Minds. Before we carry on with the review, uh, the usual notices, can you please like and subscribe and share, I would love you forever. Some people have been sharing if they know people that would like this review uh, and it really does make a huge, huge difference, especially now because the, the channel is just growing. So it's really, really helpful. So thank you for people who've done that. And of course, course comment. Um, do also check out cardmagiccourse.com. That would be lovely of you. It's my card magic course. It's only me that does it. And it's been going since 2013, over 200 videos and it's growing month by month um, as a result of requests by members and the members are loving it so have a look at cardmagiccourse.com that would be ever so lovely thanks very much so I was really intrigued by these um, these coins I saw the copy I love coin magic and uh, I saw a little bit of project Z and that, that stuff was beautiful uh, so I thought okay they've brought out these coins by the way this is uh, Sands Mines uh, in conjunction with Z who, who's and Will Sy. Will Sy's done the design of these, and, if there's a, and, and apparently the secret circle of friends. So a lot of people have, have, have kind of been involved, I think, in this project, which has apparently taken two years, according to uh, the ad. And the ad's an important one for this, because w when I started this channel, a part of it was was to be as honest as possible about whether products lived up to the hype, they did what they say they were gonna do, where, where the, whether the ad copy was authentic or not. Uh, and this claims a lot. You know, some of the stuff in the ad, this, you know, I've read that this is the, the, the most important thing to happen to coin magic and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's important to look at the ad. It is one of my favorite ads. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I just love it. I, I just love the, the, uh, the, uh, the grandness of it. It's brilliant. So, uh, so we'll have a look at that and I'll just go through it and, and tell you what I think. Too often, performers compromise their performance by taking an existing coin and finding creative ways to serve a specific slight or purpose. That, right now, that, this is how it's done. Now, this confuses me a little bit um, because, hang on, two, two, it sounds like. Too often, people take an existing coin and try and find creative ways, compromise their performance to try and find creative ways to, I don't know. But the point is, I think what they're saying is they're trying to create a, a kind of need for this. They're trying to say, you take a normal coin, you can't do a lot with it, so you compromise your performance. Now, I don't know about that. I, you know, people have been using dollars, half dollars for a very long time um, with great success, I've observed. So I can see what they're doing. They're trying to create this, this that there's less compromise, that this coin's going to do more for you. And I suppose, arguably, you could say in certain ways it does, and we'll go into that specific in a minute. But first of all, I think that's a bit of a... It, it seems to be kind of saying, you know, all that stuff you've been doing up to now, you've been compromising yourself and this is the answer. So is it? We'll have a look. First is the smooth edge design. Every edge on the design is made 30% flatter just on the edge. It's been etched with micro precision, so you can't tell with just your eyes. But you can feel that it's as smooth as silk if you scratch your nail across the coin. Not only does this dramatically increase the speed of your visual coin vanish, but the coins are silent when you execute your slight. Now that vanish is cool, isn't it? I can't really do it. I've been kind of trying to do it, but it's, it's really hard. There you go, it's sort, it's sort of getting there. But um, the point of this is that sort of stuff, it seems to be based around this kind of quick stuff, which I am getting better at and I do really, really like. It looks great, I think, especially when Z-Duck, my God, it looks incredible. When I first saw it, I thought he's got like a pull or something up his sleeve, uh, but really, really, really lovely. Um, and the thinness and the design and the sort of scratching your nail on it. I mean, yeah, you know, I've got a dollar here somewhere. It is. It is really smooth. It's a very smooth, very lovely, very thin coin. Third is the size of the coin. It's made slightly bigger and thinner than your usual dollar to maximize visualness. And it is thinner. And, and I, don't, I don't like really thick coins to do magic with. I must say, this, these dollars to me are a little bit thick. Um, I do, tend to use half dollars. Um, and of course, you know, a, a, bi a bigger coin is more visual and a shinier coin. And, you know, part of the claim of this is it's thinner, it's shinier, it's smoother. And I can't say that that's, you know, it is a bit hypey, but it, the way it's done, but it is, it is 
nice you know and when i first got these coins i watched P project z and i kind of started playing with them and really really liking liking the feel of them so I'd, so i will say you know it, it it's that's a positive it is really thin it does feel really nice a negative to me which i'll sort of do a summary at the end is that we're doing a slightly different because we're going through the ad but it's a little bit big it's a bit bigger than a dollar for some reasons that's great so if you're sort of doing um sort of all all i don't know like that if if that works i think i might have exposed there but if you're kind of doing this this stuff it that size does does improve it you know you do need something a bit bigger to stop your hands sort of clawing over a bit so if you're doing certain coin magic yes the size of it's going to help i feel it's a little bit big for me um, but that's only my preference and that preference is important and that's kind of what I think we'll get to in a minute. The sound when you flick the coin makes a crisp, beautiful echo. It's done with a secret ingredient we put in this coin only and won't be found in other releases. Okay, so the secret ingredient, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the secret ingredient is, but the point is, does it sound nicer? Is the sound important? Do we feel like when we flip a coin, it doesn't make a sound people notice? There's a dollar actually that was a bit quieter hang on oh hang on oh can't actually flip a coin now right that dollar's a bit noisier now i did do it with a half dollar the other day which i've got on me and the half dollar was quieter so if if this, the beautiful echo of the flip coin is important to you sounds about the same as a dollar to me depending on what dollar you got i've got one of them the, i don't know what it is but I, i'm no good at the what they call because i use half dollars usually but um Yes, and the silence, you know, is it silent? It's probably a bit quieter, but again, I don't think it's as silent as, you know, when you sort of, you wear down coins for the, you make quiet coins, they're not, there's a little bit of talk in there, you know, so again, it's not silent. And I don't, there's two versions of this you can get. You can get the, the white ones apparently and the, the, the darker ones. Um, I don't know if the other ones are, these are the standard ones, I think, and I don't know if the other ones are quieter or not. Uh, but for me, there's not that much difference there. Next is the weight. It's an extreme challenge to make coins thin but also carry a heavy weight. Yuna not only feels quality, but allows gravity to be utilized. Yes, you can utilize gravity and the weight. The weight's nice, you know, like the, the thing that it's kind of, how do you get a thin coin that looks sort of light, but it's got the weight of coins. It's, it's a coin, isn't it? It just feels like a coin. Life is about believing in yourself and taking chances. Not only is it much like flipping a coin and fearlessly jumping into opportunities, but the conflict of a coin's inherent sense of value and how most pursue such value with their lives is just beautiful. Right. So, the leap of, by the way, the leap of faith, it's got this inscription on it. I live in the moment, uh, leap of faith. And again, I kind of get it. I think for me, some people are going to love all that. For me, this has fallen victim to one of the things that happens in magic quite often, which is, which is a bit of a shame. It's just, it's just so much claimed. It's just gone way over to over the top in what, what these coins will do for you. I'm really not being nasty, but you know, I'm a 46 year old guy and I, I look at this and I go, you, you sort of protest too much, you know. So I'll go into what, the, what I've found these are. So we, we get past all that and I'll give you my opinion as a coin magician, and I'm not an amazing coin magician, I do a fair bit, but I'm not like someone like Z, you know, these guys are just incredible. Um, these are a, these are a nice coin. So I keep looking down there because I've got this dollar there, and I'm kind of looking at him in the light. I do apologise. These are a nice coin for coin magic. For me, they're a little bit too big. Okay, they're not the most important thing to happen with coin magic. I think the most important to happen, uh, to, to happen with coin magic was probably Bobo. Um, also from Chris Kenner. Uh, I think about well pretty much you know Paul Gertner um you know I just look up here and I see people that have really brought you know David Roth you know and many many more people this is a really nice coin to do coin magic but then so is this dollar and so are my half dollars and at the end of the day it's preference a lot of people have said and I've read a couple of things on YouTube comments saying 75 dollars that's ridiculous it's not worth it it is worth it 
because that's how much they cost. And I always say that to people, like if, if, if they're $75 in one shop and $10 in another shop, they're not worth $75. If there's $75 everywhere, they're worth $75. Now, don't forget you get Project Z packaged in with that, um, which is $25 or something like that, I think. So that adds to the value of it. And if, you know, I got these, I hadn't played with Coin Magic for a bit and I learned some new stuff with them because they felt really nice in my hand. So if you've got that sort of money to spend on something that does look pretty, it's a really nice coin, feels nice, then it's not a waste of money. It's your money and it's a, it might get you playing with coins again and, it, and the feel of it. And if you like that sort of thing, you like the aesthetics of it, then that's great. And I've got nothing against that. The one thing that really annoyed me about this is that there are three coins in it. I want four coins. If I want coins like this, I want four of them because I can do certain. <laughs> so I just charge one. Because I can do certain tricks with four coins that I need four coins with. So you know the fa it was a bit like fakini, you know, like fakini, fakini. Uh, you say tomato and all that. Um, you know, I, I use multiplying balls, and they used to do four, and then they started doing three, and it was like no, because I need the four. So then you've got to buy the four, and it all gets a bit complicated. I mean, for your seventy-five dollars, I would have liked to have seen a fourth coin in here. The other um, slightly iffy thing about this for me is that, you know, it is a sort of, I would maybe might take these out, you know, because it claims that they're more visual for parlor and they're bigger and, they're, and all that kind of stuff. But if I want to do spell, I love spellbound routines. So if I want to do spellbound routine, I've got to find a coin that size and these are a little bit bigger than the usual. So to do a spellbound routine with, uh, if I want a gaff for these where do i get the gaff and i can see what's coming up and can see that maybe that gaffs are, are going to be made for these and and it i presume that the, and i haven't talked to, to any of the guys about this i presume that the idea is to get people on board with these coins and get people using them so therefore all the gaffs are made for these coins a bit like sort of most magicians using bicycle cards for me it's not something i'm probably going to invest any money into or time into i'm happy with my half dollars i'm happy with my dollars um and it would tie me into kind of all that thing. And I can see that's the idea, but but it's just too much. And I think that it's a shame because the, the claims made by, you know, the best thing since Coin Magic, I think it, I would have been more receptive had it been, here are some beautiful coins we've made for your Coin Magic. Have a look at them. And uh, <laughs> I know that's not great marketing, is it? Uh, so there you go. There's the Unicoins by sam's mind 75 dollars uh, you can get them all over the place any questions any comments do ask below and i'll be as honest as i possibly can cheers